if you take a big old plastic bag, uh -huh. you fill it with water, and you put a thousand holes in it, all okay. of those streams of uh, pin holes would represent one person, and the water would represent the prime creator. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Which is, so it, it's it's broke up like that. Mm -hmm. Now our goal is to go into the cloud in mental development. Mm -hmm. Right. So how do we get into the cloud? We have to understand our memory system. The computer is based off the human brain. Mm -hmm. Right. So first you got something called RAM. RAM is short term memory. So put in computer RAM so you can read what people so what people know what I'm talking about. Random access memory to a computer. Yeah, I know a little bit about computers. Uh, R RAM to computers. This shows short-term human memory base. Yeah. Oh, let me let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, RAM allows your computer to perform many of the everyday tasks, such as low applications, browsing the internet, editing a spreadsheet, or experiencing the latest game. Memory is also allowed to, memory is also, I mean, memory also allows you to switch quickly amongst these tasks, remembering where you are in the one task when you are switching to another. Right. So when you're in your waking state, and you are uh, walking around, you operating from the RAM. Okay. So after the RAM is so full, you go to store the information in what we call the hard drive. This is your subconscious memory. Mm -hmm. So put in um, computer hard drive so we can tell them what it do. All right. Come on, baby. All right. I got you right here. Come on, let me get this other way. A hard drive is the hardware component that stores all of your digital content. Your documents, pictures, music, videos, programs, application preferreds, and operation systems represent digital content stored on a hard drive. Hard drives can be external or in, uh, external. Right. So now, once you fill your hard drive up, you then operating from what they call the cloud. Mm -hmm. So put in cloud memory computer. Cloud memory computer. Uh, or computer cloud memory. Okay. I get you. This is also what we call the internet superhighway. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, cloud storage is a cloud computer model that stores data on the internet throughout a cloud computer providing who manage and operate data storage as a system, as a service. It delivers on demand with just in time capability Capable, capable uh, of cost and eliminates buying the margin, your own data storage infrastructure. So they saying that this is the information that's stored in the computer um, world, the cyber world that you got access to from your computer at any given time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's the cloud. This mm -hmm. is what we also call the super conscious. So we're going to run it back. We're going to run it back one thing at a time, right? So put in, um, put in, um, can you hear me? Yo, shit. <laughs> Somebody had tried to call me. So put yeah, in. Yeah, it's um, cut out though. Well, what you said, it just cut out. Put in super consciousness. All uh, right. No, put in uh, universal mind. All right.
Uh, you want to read what it say out of picture? Uh, you can read what it say first. Okay. I mean, that's super. Uh, all right, universal mind and universal consciousness is a metaphysic concept suggesting an underlining essence of all beings and becoming uh, becoming in the universe. All beings. Okay, so what that. Okay. That's saying that everybody, all beings have access to the cloud of the human mind. Mm -hmm. That's all human beings. Lesser animals got a different cloud. Their cloud um, is called the instinct and it's, fit, and it's uh, best understood by the hundred monkey effect. So putting in hundred monkey effect. I got you. Yeah, just type what is hundred monkey effect. Uh, it's, uh, wait, 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 wait. So while you looking uh, that up, this is why we all got to get on the same down. page with Free Larry Hoover, because it activates this part of our psyche as a collective and changes everything over in real time. So we got to reach critical mass and the hundred monkey effect. All right, the hundred monkey effect. <laughs> All right, uh, the hundred monkey effect is a hypothetical phenomenon in which a new behavior or idea is spread rapidly by unexplained means from at one group to all related groups. Once a critical number of members of one group exhibits the new behavior or acknowledge the new idea. Okay. So that's saying that when we all on the same page mentally, it activates this hundred monkey effect. One band, one sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they discovered this with these monkeys and sweet potatoes. They would feed them the sweet potatoes and throw them in the sand. They get covered with sand. Mm -hmm. One of the monkeys figured out how to wash the sweet potato. And then he taught another one. Mm -hmm. By the time the 100 monkey in the clan learned the behavior, it automatically in different remote places far away activated other similar species to wash their sweet potatoes in the water to get the sand off of them, right? So this became known as the 100 monkey effect because once the 100 monkey discovered the, um, the, uh, the, what was previously unknown, uh, they reached a critical mass of awareness between the species. And once that critical mass of awareness in the species came to the awareness of the collective, it activated all of them to have access to the same information mm -hmm. or idea in this case. Mm -hmm. All right, now, we can start the 100 monkey effect by creating something called the mastermind group. So look up a master, what is a mastermind group? It was first written about by Napoleon Hill. Uh, I got you right here. A mastermind group is a peer to peer monitoring groups using to help minerals survive, solve their problems with inputs and advice from the other group members. The concept was coined in 1925 by Arthur Napoleon Hill in his book, The Law of Success, as des described in more detail in his 1933, book, Things and Grow, Grow Rich, Think and Grow Rich. Okay, so now the concept of the mastermind group is when a group of people get together to solve a problem, they for let's say it's four people. When the four people get together, they generate something called the fourth person, the fifth person, right? The fifth person is a collective consciousness. Now, Napoleon Hill tell you how to set the mastermind group up in the mechanics of 
you setting the mastermind group up. Mm -hmm. But when you start making it on a national level, this one is written by a guy named Gustave Laban, and the book is called The Crowd. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So in the book, The Crowd, it tells you that when the group mind activates, that the individuals will get caught up in a psychological frenzy related to the collective. Mm -hmm. So we activate the hundred monkey effect by activating our connection to the land. What's going to happen as a side effect? Mm -hmm. Those who don't want us to make the connection to the, to the land, they're going to protest. Okay. So look for the protesters to what me and young elder are doing and you will see who don't want us to tie to the land. Why does this matter? Pull up electromagnetic earth grid. All right. Earth. Uh, the, the Schumann residence, right? Like you, the, the, the shit you was talking about, that shit was heavy. Was yeah, like, but we ain't gonna go into Schumann. We going into the grid in the um in the the way that the grid is set up around the planet. All right, let's go. Go. Oh. Let's tell them what it is. The, the Earth magnetic field, also called the... Damn. The Earth magnetic field, also called the geomagnet, geomagnetism field, which exercise extends several tens of thousands of kilometers into space from the Earth magnosphere. Uh, a pelo mag a magneto spear, right? Uh, a pelo magnet mm -hmm. study of Australia red the the site and pelo basalt has uh, estimated the magnet field to be at least three point five billion years old. That's that's a lot, though. That's a lot. I know that's a lot. The, the magnetic field is old as Earth because the Earth needs yeah, all magnetic. 93 billion at least, right? 90 billion. Right. Least. So now look, we uh -huh. we are electromagnetic beings. Put it in the question, are humans electromagnetic? Okay. Uh, yeah. I got you right here. All right. For the quick for your questions, is human in an electromagnetic field? The answer, man, they said no because electromagnetic fields are produced by electro energy of the radiation frequency. I know that's a lot, though. I know that's. A lot. But what is the aura? Yeah, they yeah they try to they try to spin us, man. You know they try to spin us. Uh, we already know that's a bunch of bullshit. Hold on, let me read this one. It says everything you just experienced. Occur, occur because we're both surrounded by our own personal force field and the inside of our body contains electric generators which they use the, to send signals throughout the body so I, that's a better uh, that's the, that's telling you right there you're an electromagnetic user. yeah exactly so who wrote that top shit really trying to throw us around you know what i'm saying spin us right but but they telling you already that you electromagnetic when they showed you your aura. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The brain run off electrical current. Right? Yeah. Matter of fact, ask how much electricity do the body put out? All right, let me ask it. I got you. Come on, baby. That's what the field looked like. The torsion field. Electricity. Do the body. Uh. All right. It says the average human at risk produces about 100 watts over a period of a few minutes. Humans can comfortably sustain 300 to 400 watts. And in a case of very short bursts of energy, such as spring, uh, uh, running, some humans can output up 2,000 watts. 
Uh, it says, does the human body emit electricity? You may or may not, but uh, be surprised. You may be surprised to find out yet that out that yes, indeed, the human body does emit electricity. In fact, most living animals do to to some extent. The human body has various bodily functions that rely on the flow of charged ions, like the muscles or your body, heart, your body and your heart. Right yeah. now. So a couple of uh, phenomenon about the body that's re relatively un untalked about mm -hmm. is the brain beat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your brain pulses just like your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your brain got four ventricles just like your heart. Good shit. Go ahead. Right? And it pumps a fluid just like your heart pump blood, but it's called cerebral spinal fluid. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In the cerebral spinal fluid, you got colloidal gold and colloidal silver. Mm -hmm. Those are conductors of electromagnetic fields. So the body does put out electricity and it told you how many watts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So when, when you understand that part, you understand how all of this works. Because remember, the DNA is a crystal. Mm -hmm. The human is a, a mammalian reptilian hybrid with a uh, new mammal brain on the old mammal brain that sits on the old reptile brain. Mm -hmm. Right? So we done went over all that already. There it so, is. We, so we said, yeah, who and what are you? Mm -hmm. Now, your field can sync with the earth. Mm -hmm. Right? So draw a uh, human tree huggers. Pull that up. Human tree huggers. Because it's going to show them making a the current through a tree, through the ground, back through the body. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Uh... Let me type, let me add this part right here. Maybe this will. Bring it on in right there. Energy. You might have to write uh, uh, connect human connect to um, tree energy. I think I got it right here. Uh, Pull up the images. Okay, I got you. They showing the hug people hugging. In the tree, but they ain't showing like the yeah. We're trying to like find the, the uh, diagram. It's a specific yeah. diagram. You gonna as soon as you see it, you are gonna know it. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's like the connection with the home tree on Pandora and Avatar. How it has the spirit tree. The spirit. I watched was the name of the tree. Yeah, yeah. Now remember, Alistair Crowley got all of his information from I was. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The, uh, he said it. He said that it was a uh, uh, he, he, the way he described them. He looks like a a, a market bean, gray. Mm -hmm. the way he but the reality of Iwas is Iwas is the spirit of the earth. And yeah, she used to be able to be communicate with us through a tree. Okay, okay, that's good. You had good. to refresh that. All right, uh, they got a whole bunch of tree huggers on here, but they uh. I know what you're looking for, though. You're looking for the, the ethereal there you go. connection. Hold on. Let me type that part. Look, there wait, you wait, go. Okay. At the bottom wait, in the right middle. Here. Uh, okay, go back. Let me go back. Uh, where is it? Come on, come on, come on. At come the on. top in the middle now. Uh, Straight up. Okay. Down is at the bottom now. Right here? Yep. All right. Let me blow it up. Hey, we've been on for two hours, but we're gonna, we're gonna get. Uh, I know y'all ready for the questions and answer part. We're gonna get into that in just a minute. We almost we we gonna probably to come back and do a part two on this because this right here is a lot of it's a lot of little trinkets that we gotta add to act together to make this one, uh, this one big picture, man. This is this is a lot of little little. Uh, well, basically, they're getting a the glimpse into how 